Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. We're very excited to be celebrating with the Rubenstein family, and it is Aaron's bar mitzvah. This is our chance to get to know him a little bit. Uh, where do you go to school, Aaron? I go to Achimel Middle School. Excellent. And uh, what is your favorite subject at your school? Uh, my favorite subject is social studies. Okay. Why do you like social studies? Um, it tells us like what not to repeat in the future. Well said. Doesn't quite always work, but <laughs> it's a it's a good try. Um, what's your favorite thing to do outside of school? Um, probably play with my dogs. Okay. I believe today's National Dog Day. We didn't plan it that way. Whoa! It is. It is. It might be a Facebook holiday. I don't know. So your Torah portion is Kitavo, and uh, it begins at least with the statements that you make when you bring the first fruit, and it has various uh, parts of it that are set up for what the Israelites should do when they come to Israel. Was there anything that hit you in a particular way? No, nothing hit me. Okay, good. <laughs> All right, well, this should be short. <laughs> Um, okay, so, uh, well, after the first fruit part, um, it talks about, uh, like, what to do as soon as you get into the Holy Land. Um, Moses told the Israelites to prop up stones with Torah on them and cover them in plaster as soon as you make it. This kind of shows that, like, it, uh, the Torah is a form of the earth. Mm. Um, and also, after that, he told, um, uh, the 12 tribes, six on, six on each of the mountains, uh, I believe it was Grazim, the mountain of blessings, and Abal, the mountain of curses. Um, and basically the Levites would stand in the valley and they would call out, I mean, essentially what was the Ten Commandments, the little, like, on steroids. <laughs> um, uh, so, yeah, so look, and so some things didn't the, change. <laughs> <laughs> and they would kind of um, call and respond with amen and that kind of show like an agreement, a mutual agreement with God and, and the people about like, well, if you do these things right, then I'll like, I'll give you my blessings. I'll, I'll let your fruit um, be ripe and I'll let your enemies fear you and you know, a yeah. pretty good life. But then if you don't do that, well, you get punished. <laughs> Yeah. So it's, it's pretty it's uh, a stark choice between yeah. all blessing and all curse. I will let you say some of your Devar Torah for Saturday, although I really do appreciate um, especially that image of nature in the Torah. Mm -hmm. That was a very uh, interesting way to see it. And uh, I can assure you there will be a lot of interesting things on Shabbat and uh, a lot of celebration. And I hope that you'll join us to celebrate um, as we do from now for Bar Mitzvah. Uh, the sanctuary will only be open for family, but look out for the special uh, link that you can join us on Zoom. And um, we, uh, we look forward to uh, this Shabbat, and we're getting excited to have our high holy days together. Shabbat Shalom. Make sure to like and subscribe and comment down <laughs> below, and please support me on Patreon. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. <laughs>